Alright guys, what's going on? Back again with another video and today I've got some fantastic news regarding Pokemon Go and the Thanksgiving event. Because inquiring minds I'm sure want to know, is Pokemon Go getting a Thanksgiving event? Well guys, I actually found out some stuff, some news on this topic. So we're going to jump right into this. Guys, stay tuned. Alright, so basically, it says here, from the Express News, uh, this is another reliable source, uh, it says here, Pokemon Go News, and, and by the way, before I, I start, uh, this has actually been updated for at least one hour, so this was one hour ago, so anyway, it says, Pokemon Go News, Thanksgiving Event 2017, release date, Niantic Warning, and Avatar Items, so we're gonna jump right into this, stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so basically here it says, during a recent blog post, Niantic told fans to expect big Pokemon Go news next week. Niantic is actively expanding the Pokemon Go development team to build many more amazing updates in 2018. The post reads, stay tuned for news next week about upcoming improvements to certain features. It's thought Niantic will announce details of a Thanksgiving 2017 event, which is likely to run for one week. Last year's event started on Wednesday, November 23rd and ran until November 30th, but based on those timings, the Pokemon Go Thanksgiving 2017 event could have a Wednesday, November 22nd release date. Um, it's possible the Thanksgiving event will include double XP and Stardust and potentially the release of all three Smeargle, Delibird, and Ho-Oh. So that's actually real hype right there. Um, so, basically here, uh, to add on to the news, it says, With Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming to 3DS early this week, fans can dress their Pokemon Go avatars in new gear inspired by the Alolan region. Now, I made um, a video about this uh, a few days ago, so go check that out if you haven't already. And here it says, We're excited to announce that new avatar items are now available. Read the Niantic post. Now, it says, to celebrate the upcoming launch of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, you'll be able to dress your Pokemon Go avatar in brand new outfits inspired by the tropical Alolan region. Pokemon Go trainers can access the gear by selecting the player icon in the lower left portion of the screen. The free outfits can be found in the style section of the profile. So we're going to jump into more news. Stay tuned. Alright guys, um, I also want to point out too, it says the development team will end support for iOS 8 users for November 20th. Now this is just for the iOS uh, users. iOS 8 was initially released in 2014 and the time since the release there have been some major improvements to the iOS operating systems, a message from Niantic explains. By removing support for iOS 8, we are able to streamline our development process and focus resources on supporting newer operating systems and technologies. A vast majority of Apple users have migrated to iOS 9 and above. As players migrate from older operating system versions to newer ones, we periodically update our supporting devices requirements to focus on the devices our player base use. So basically what they're saying is you have to update to iOS 9 because they no longer are going to be supporting iOS 8 uh, from uh, up until November 20th. So basically, you won't be able to play the game um, if you're using iOS 8. So you, for the Apple users, make sure you update to iOS 9 if you want to continue playing Pokemon Go. Um, so yeah, let me see if I have any other news for you guys. No, I don't. So that's basically going to wrap this video up, guys. Uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, sub, share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Smack a like on this video. Comment down below. Crush the notification bell so you can stay updated on all my latest videos. And as always, guys, peace and love and stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.